Hello, super mapping tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Pool of Radiance with me, Blue Ankylo. So the last couple episodes, I've been, um, you know, successfully completing some quests, but a little bit randomly because I didn't know where I was going, and, you know, I, I'm still, like, this is a very non-linear kind of game with very little kind of journal hand-holding where to go, so you're kind of meant to just wander around. But I do like my episodes to have some sort of direction for each episode, so that, like, Okay, today we're going to clear Sokol Keep, and today we're going to clear the graveyard, or, you know, sort of like that. So what I was doing is I had a look at the manual. Now, strictly speaking, we're probably not supposed to have this map, uh, other than it's in your journal, and you can look it up whenever you want. But journal entry number 37, I don't think we've ever had a chance to read that. But it's nice to know that this is how the, ma the town of Flan is actually constructed. We started in Civilized, moved west to Slums, moved west to Kudo's Well, moved west to Podo Plaza. We've also taken the Civilized area to so-called Keep before. So I think that's pretty cool. We're going to head to Mendor's Library. I started my game right in Kudo's Well, so we're going to check that out. Primarily because that's the next area in uh, our journal. In fact, Mendor's Library came before the Plaza even. So we'll, uh, we'll have a look at that there in a second. Um... Furthermore, just for interest's sake, you can kind of see where Flan is. I assume we would know this. We had to take a ship to Flan at the beginning somehow. So you must have known, like, we're off of the Moon Sea by Stormy Bay. You know, <laughs> we must have known, like, where did we come from anyway? I don't even know the Moon Sea. Maybe we came from, like, Iron Fang Keep or something. Or Sembi. I have no idea how we got here. But I'm pretty sure it pretty much had to be by boat anyway. So, anyway, I just wanted to show that off. Um... Yeah, we're going to switch here. So if we head to the south, this should be Mendor's library. So I I quick I had a quick peek in here, but I mean, I never know what uh, what area is what. Let's have a quick read on uh, our journal or our clue book about what this place is about, just to make a little bit more sense of it. Mendor's library was once one of the great centers of knowledge in all the Moon Sea reaches. After the fall of Flan, most of the monsters didn't know what to do with the library. The boss, however, recognized it for the treasure trove that it was. He had the library magically sealed, uh-oh, until he could send out a team of experts to pillage the library's secrets. Unfortunately for the boss, the flight of the worms caused chaos throughout Flan and diverted his attention away from the library. The city council knows that the tombs and books from Flan's past could hold the secret to their salvation, so they have set a bounty for the recovery of important documents. We've kind of had this quest from the beginning. The party's job, clear the block containing the library, discover some of the background and secrets of the boss, and gain the bounty for some returning, returning some important works. Okay. Let's get started then. Hopefully you guys are ready. Let me switch the uh, map back over. There we go. Okay, so there's also... The bottom left, which is the textile area, if you look at the map, 04, for instance. But uh, I suppose, first and foremost, we need to get into this library. Uh, knock. That sounds good. Knock, knock. No. Nobody answered the door. Let's, uh, okay, hold on, hold on. We have a thief. Alucard, how about you pick the door? You did not successfully pick the door. Okay, that's it, Earth Darkness. Knock it down. We... We've unsuccessfully opened the door. Completely failed. Okay. Let's try the back entrance. Knock. I wonder if that means the knock spell. There is a spell called knock. Alucard. Pick. You're not very good at picking, are you? Uh, we can't get in. Oh, here we go. We could bash in the back door. Whew. Good work, Earth Darkness. You enter a hall which is filled with rows of writing tables and high stools. Rotted mounds of parchment litter the floor. Well, that's a disappointing sound. That's a disappointing to hear. Okay. Oh, hey. You find a fighter with a battered armor and wild eyes cowering in the corner. Yay, mercy, mercy, he cries. <laughs> and then suddenly, die, die, you slide from the pit. Okay, well... Let's try to talk to him. Sounds like he's gone a little bit mad. Maybe we should cast Cure Insanity on him. We'll be nice. Sounds like he's had a hard time. The man screams while frothing at the mouth. 
He is not human, I tell you! Not at all! You see the man is quite mad. Do you take pity and invite him to go with you? Sure. He looks reluctant and says, But his minions are there! He will come too! We insist. Come along. We'll help you out. He stands up, muttering to himself, and joins you. We've got a madman on the party. <laughs> He's a true neutral fighter. Level 1. He's not going to do very good. 7 HP. Does he have any items at all? He's got nothing. Well, I'm not giving him anything. Forget that. Excellent. So glad we found a madman. Oh, I should have gone through the door he was guarding, I guess. This room was once a study. It is now a shattered ruin. We'll search it. Buried amid all the trash, you see a book. Do you take it? We sure do. Make sure Earth Darkness gets it. Lots of experience. And a manual. Okay. View items. Unequip your sword. Read the manual. Earth Darkness is reading. What? Should I have not read it? <laughs> it just disappeared. Maybe I should have just taken it back. Or did it give him, like, experience or something? I would never have noticed. Ah, uh, I don't know. Maybe we should have just taken it back and got a reward. Maybe we weren't supposed to read it. I didn't expect the book would disappear when you read it. Oh, wait. We've entered a... Apparently there's some kobolds or something. They stand, arms raised, and surrender. Advance. They plead for mercy. Parlay. If you spare our lives, we will tell you... I guess it's kobolds. If you spare our lives, we will tell you all we know about this area. All right, you tell me. They describe the surrounding area to you. You listen carefully, question them, and from this, sketch a map into your journal, calling it Entry 10. Well, that's fun. Cool. Let's look. What did we learn? Is it as good as the clue book map? Unlikely, but sure. Okay. Bad things. I was in the room with the bad thing. Or, well... Perspective is difficult. There's some bad things, though, according to the kobolds. <laughs> Alright, thanks for the warning, kobolds. It's been fun. Quick search through the room. Alright, uh, let's see what's in here. Anything? Nothing. Let's see what's in here. Alright, Alucard, you need to start picking these locks. Yes, you picked a lock. You see a ruined room with rotted furniture. Human bones lie scattered about a desk. Well, that sounds bad. Let's look at that. You see a jar under the floorboards. I'm sure you do. Take potions. Okay. Well, we're not going to just drink those. We're not just going to use those until we identify them. Anything else in here? Okay. No bad things so far. It's been very friendly. Amid the trash, you find a box which contains gold foil. Sure we take it. Three sheets of gold. Sure. I don't know. What do you even do with sheets of gold? See, guys? I'm starting to use my search button a little bit more regularly. We're finding stuff. You see what was once a garden. Now become filled with stuff that's bad. You step in a green plant. Suddenly, people... That, that all went very quickly, and now people are hurt. You now carefully avoid, avoid the green slime. Now look, if you just asked me, I would have told you avoid the green slime. Nobody asked me, you silly, silly adventurers. Green slime is always bad. Sometimes it is worse than others. Step in a green plant with green slime. All right. Okay, well, apparently there's a lot of green slime. At least we recognized it that time. Everyone keeps stepping in slime. Huh. Beware the denizens of the garden. There is no treasure here. Well, that's lame. Where's all my treasure at? Well, apparently there's no battles. There's just random slimes from the plants. 
All right, guys, you need to get out. That was fun. Let's try the rest of the library. Okay. Alucard, pick, fail. Bash. All right, at least you were able to bash it. When your lock picks fail you, you use your axe. Okay, well, you see a chamber filled with rotted furniture. And that is all. The chamber filled with rotted furniture and benches. But that is still all. Small room having little more than a bench and a small desk. Is there anything in the desk? Just nothing. Just tells you about it some more. Okay, there's a lot of just rooms with desks. It's kind of boring. Oh, here we go. Library stacks. Old and moldering books are stored on shelves. A sign over the entrance reads history. All right, look. As you search the room, you scan random books. You find various books which are something something you didn't get a chance to read it because there's too many words. So filled with myth that you don't find anything useful. Huh. Alright, not too useful. Search this area until you find Lex Geographica. Okay. We're gonna do that. There's actually like a whole... It looks like there's like three books we need to find here. And we're not finding them. Come on. This is one of those like roll of 1d100 and if you get 100 you find a book kind of deal. And so far we're not finding anything. One more. Okay, apparently we don't know how to search for books. Unless someone has one of the books randomly. Kind of doubt it. This library is kind of lame. Philosophy. Okay. Oh, you find a book entitled something that we took. What did we find? Well, it's not in our inventory, so we just have to assume we found it. Okay, so maybe what the guide means was, like, there's going to be, like, one from each room or something. Okay, you find works on natural philosophy, theories of art, and the supernatural science. It's very boring. Okay. Well, seeing as we found that book very easily, maybe just number one was the wrong place. Hit rhetoric. Let's, let's search for rhetoric. Oh, you hear a hiss. As you look down, you suddenly see a dull brown... Oh, well, that's bad. So we found, like, a basilisk in the library, I think. Yeah. <laughs> well, ah, uh, that's pretty bad. I don't think we've got cure stone. Sixteen damage. It's gonna go down, yeah. Alright, well, uh, we're gonna have to go back to town to deal with this, I think. Whoever's been, um... I pressed the wrong button. Madman flees in panic. I love it. Okay, we got lots of experience points out of that. Lots of interesting stuff, too, probably. Let's just cast uh, Detect Magic. No one's got Detect Magic. Of course not. Apparently, Fella, even whilst turned to stone, can cast Detect Magic. Pretty amazing. You're awesome, fellow McGubbins. I wouldn't expect that. Alright, now, I know he's turned to stone, but what happens if you cast Cure Light Wounds on him? Just for interest's sake. Basically nothing. Okay. What about, um... What about these clerical scrolls? Okay, someone asked if I could use scrolls with the shield equipped. The answer is no. We have Restoration, 7th level, that's pretty cool. Yeah, we've got Restoration spells. I believe those are for level drain, though, rather than curing stone. What did uh, Fella McGovins get for scrolls? I assume maybe just more... 
Oh, you can't use, right, of course not. You can ready your weapons, but you can't, uh, <laughs> you can't use them. You can't use scrolls. So did we just get four scrolls of restoration then? Yeah. Good to know. Should have checked that before. I was just hoping against hope that maybe someone would have like a cure stone scroll. We're going to have to go back to town and pay some money for that. Sorry about that, fellow McGubbins. Wouldn't expect the basilisk to just pop out of nowhere. So this chamber sucks. A basilisk, a basilisk lives in the rhetoric section. Rhetorical bas basilisk? Mathematics? No one wants to learn about that. Essays on geometry, metamagical math, but nothing useful. Okay, so... This was the main hall. So there's some... You see an empty room. The only feature is a series of frescoes on the wall of learned men and the heavenly patrons of art and learning. You get a feeling of peace. Isn't that nice? Except for Fella McGubbins. He's busy being stoned. So, we did not find Lex Geographica, History of the North, and Grand Historian's Record of Arts of War. We did find at least one of these. So what, do you have to, like, look specifically on the wall or something? Hmm. I just wonder how hard it is to find the books. You know what we can do? I won't do this very often, but uh, alter speed, faster, exit. This means the text should go, like, light speed. Oh, you find Phidethra's Discourses on Power. Oh, you know, I bet you one of them was on the journal pages and I just missed it. Ah, uh, shoot. Anyway, we, we discovered journal entry 7, which is very, very long. Feel free to pause the video and read this. To, the, the scroll is immune to the passages of time. I'll probably read it because it's talking about pools of great power, but I'll read it off camera because that's, that's a little bit much. I have a feeling it might give you a bit of an idea about uh, the storyline there, so... Feel free to read it. There you go. Plenty of time to pause the video should you choose. Alright, so that's, I believe, two books from this one. We've looked many times. Let's go to this one. Two, three, there we go. So we found Grand Historian's Records of Arts of War. This is... Journal 21. See, I'm, at least I'm figuring it out before we run out of time today. Crumbling old book. One of massive series. Talks about the Twisted Ones. Powerful general, general named Tyranthraxus. Stole the armies. Probably pretty important. Imprisoned Tyranthaxis in a vial of water, which shone like light of the day. Again, feel free to read them. I'll probably read them off camera just to save some time later on. Because uh, it's a lot of text. Alright. We found Lex Geographica, an atlas drawn by Tomaris. It has a map of Flan. Hey, I bet you that's what I was looking at, maybe. Journal entry 37. Was that the one that I, I used at the beginning of the, of the episode? I think I used like 39. Nope. So this fancy map, this is where you're supposed to get it. <laughs> you're supposed to go to the library before you can find the actual good map. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. There should be one more book left, I think. We sure do take it. And we got it right away. You find the history of the north. Uh, so the great ice wall. However, there is an ice... There's an interesting passage you copy into your journal. Number eight. Switch back. Journal number eight. A rugged, popular account of the northern lands. Ten days ride north of Varm is a barren dead country called Leeway. 
Land in pain or land, land of caused pain. Further to the south is known as the tortured land, evil place, yada, yada, yada. Spirit of a glowing spring. Ah, yeah, you know. Okay. Again, I recommend you may read some of these more in depth than I am just to learn more about the lore. I probably will read them myself, just not uh, in the middle of a long episode. So I think with that, we can head back to town. I'm glad we had the uh, the manual there, or not the manual, the um, the the uh, the, the map slash clue book, so that I know when I'm done. Oh, what what? I should I did I thought we were just gonna be able to walk out of here and then a a spirit attacked us. I should have slowed down the uh, the speed. Done speed four. All right. Earth darkness. I sure hope you can fight um, specters. I have no idea. That's a miss. Okay, we can hit them. That's good to know. Can we put them to sleep? I kind of doubt it. Oh, you know what? It's a new enemy time! It's new enemy time! Everybody, huzzah! So the Spectre didn't want to leave, didn't want us to leave with the magic books, I assume. But, uh, too bad for him. New enemies? Oh, they're in. They were in the journal. Of course, they were. Do 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 do. Specters. Specters, level seven. These are the one of the most. Whoa, what? These are one of the most powerful of the undead. Their touch can drain the life out of men. That does not sound good. I don't like that. I think you can steal levels, basically. No, don't do that. I wanted to. Well. Aim. So the question is, has anyone had their level drained on that first turn or not? <laughs> Madman surrendered. That's great. Well, the specter died pretty quick anyway. Lots of experience for one specter. No money. Madman just... What? So when you surrender, you just kill yourself? <laughs> what is that? He just kills himself, knocks himself unconscious. Uh-oh. So Earth Darkness is down to level 2. Yeah. Yeah. That all happened before I had a chance to do anything. So, what you gotta do... This really sucks. Um, no spells, items. Use a restoration charge here. He's restored, but... Something that this game does that uh, the original D&D does not, I believe, is retain your eight, your experience points. Yeah. So I will... Um, hold on. I'm going to put a pause in the video. I'm going to restore his experience to what it was before he was drained. Uh, and that only restored one level. Oh, man. No, he was level... Okay, hold on. I'll be, I'll be right back. I want to see how much experience he had before the level drain. And uh, I will... Use a couple more restoration scrolls when we come back, and then, uh, and then I'll restore him to his proper XP. Because it's, if I remember correctly, in proper D&D, you don't lose your XP. Well, I don't know. We'll see. I'll be right back. Okay, folks, I'm back. So I double-checked, um, Earth Darkness should have had about 14,000 experience, um, before he was level drained there, brutally. Level drain is one of the worst garbage things they can do to you, basically. So ready, use our last restoration scroll here. And I believe that puts him at the correct level. He was level 4, but he should have had about 14,000 experience. Um, unlike... Like, he should have had about the same amount of experience as Fellow McGubbins, basically, is my point. Uh, the difference is... Um, a Cleric gets to level 5 earlier than a Fighter gets to level 5. That's why Earth Darkness was not level 5 yet. I'm pretty sure he wasn't level 5, was he? No. There's no way. I think I think you need to be 18,000 experience for a level 5 fighter. So what I'm going to do, again, and I, I know this is kind of cheating, but I think losing experience permanently is also cheating. So we're just going to edit him in. I don't know how much he would have had. He probably still has lost some, even if I edited this here. Even by doing that. That's technically probably still less than he should have had. 
All right, at least he's got most of his XP. I'm pretty sure he would have had a little bit more than Fella McGubbins because he did a duel by himself and he wasn't dead for the end of the Basilisk fight. If you multiply everybody, if you multiply the, the three multi-class people's experience by three, uh, that would be 13,500, 13,800 times two here is about 14,000. Mystic of Baugh has over 15,000. So, um, it's possible, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure he still lost some experience, basically. I'm sorry about having that, uh, battle start so quickly before I could see what was going on. I forgot to slow down the, well, I didn't forget. My planning was I wanted to, um, I wanted to zip back to town quickly rather than have the, uh, the messages go really slowly on our way over, but it was a horrible idea. I'll never do it again. Anyway, we need to go cure Fella McGubbins, and then we'll turn in the books to the town hall and see what we get. And then we'll feel really bad for ourselves, mostly. So let's, uh, uh, I don't know, we decided all the temples were the same, so we might as well just go to the, the Priestess Joy of Sune. She seems like the nicest of the batch, right? How much is this going to cost? We'll pool, so we spend all of our garbage money first. Heal... We want to remove... No, a stone to flesh. Only 2,000 gold coins. Alright, fella McGubbs, you're back. You didn't learn any... You didn't lose any experience for that, at least. And then we take... Yeah, so that spent all of our copper and silver. So that's actually really nice, in a sense. The good news about that is everyone now has... Um, much less money to carry around. <laughs> so I don't think Mystic is any... He's no longer encumbered by our full cash. Okay, luckily we had enough money for that. Let's check in with the city clerk. See if we get anything for all of these books we picked up. Okay, reward for clearing the library. Okay, so we did get a reward for that. Teeny bit of experience and... Almost enough money to pay for the... The, uh, this turning to stone. Not even close to paying for the restoration, though. That stuff's really expensive. Luckily, we got a bunch of free scrolls. So we share the money. We find these discourses valuable. Here is your reward. So we got a lot of books. We got a teeny bit of experience again. And a bit of money. Nothing too, nothing too special. Okay, the maps. Locate several legendary buildings. Okay, so we, we're, we're handing in over all the books, basically. It doesn't seem like it's very difficult to get the books, so I'm glad I did, uh, oops. Uh, I'm glad I, uh, did the library early, except for the fact that the Spectre caused us a lot of problems. It was pretty good. Anyway, lot, lots of money, you know the deal. Small value, they give us one gold coin. Thanks, for whatever it was that was. Alright. Large group of thieves in Old Koval Mansion. We haven't been there yet. Nomads, I believe, are out on the uh, the world map somewhere. Tribe of Kobolds is probably on the world map somewhere. And that's it for now. Okay. Is there anybody in here to talk to? Down here. No, still can't go down here. Leave. Fine. Okay. No levels up. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, to save a lot of time resting and casting Cure Light Wounds. We're going to pay our gold, we're going to pay our platinum, and then this means that we could rest here as long as we wanted, which means if I'm uh, sneaky... Where's my... Uh, there it is. In camp slash fix, bam, and then... Oh look, everyone's been healed up except Madman. Well, rest for a day, I guess. What was that? Something happened in the middle of the time. What the heck happened? I'm gonna have to watch the, my own vi my own video and have a look at what that was. I have no idea what happened. Huh. Anyway, let's add uh, detect magic in there. Add another sleep. Uh, 
add another detect, I believe. Well, we'll give you a cure. The, 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 other, the other cleric has detect magic. That's fine. All right. Rest again. Make sure it's daytime when you leave. It's actually almost nighttime. So let's uh, wait 13 hours just so that the town stays open, basically. All right. So, oh, uh, Madman is not getting healed up. Whatever, I don't know what to do with him, honestly. What the heck do you do with him? Let's let's see. Hold on. Um, sorry for the black screen there. Let's go to the clue book. Mender's Library. So, apparently, the finale was, after you find the books, you should leave by one of the two doors. The specter of the librarian will attack you as you leave. Um, pretty sure we got all five, at least. So, we kill the specter. Um, gives us a hint to search and search and search and search. Warns you about the basilisk. Philosophy, math, storeroom. A group of scared kobolds. Oh, this was a, a map of Cadorna textile, not the map of the library. That's good to know. Madman. If he is with you when you return to town, he will cause trouble. Oh, so while he was resting, that was him causing trouble, I bet you. So we should just get rid of him then. Okay. I may have missed some treasure. I don't know. But anyway, that's fine. I just figured the clue book would help us sort a couple things out. All right, madman, you got to go. You're uh you're useless. Um how do I get rid of you? Encamp alter drop. Bye-bye, madman. You can be insane in town all by yourself. He bids us farewell. Isn't that nice? Okay, good. So, how long has this been going on and what are what's next? I think the textile factory is probably the next spot I'll want to go to. Um, you know what? Before we wrap today's episode up, let's try to get a little bit of combat because one basilisk and one uh, specter is not a whole lot of fighting. Let's, uh, let's head back to the marketplace. I'll go as quick as I can. Oops, wrong place. Having this big map is sure helpful for getting around quickly. Bash. Having to bash these doors is getting really old. And you can see why I like having the text scroll even faster to sip through this stuff. This is the... Well... I haven't had any fights in here in a long time. I have to assume we've cleared it. Probably. Let's take the south entrance this time. There we go. So we are in Podol Plaza. So to the south should be the um, textile house, which we'll get to eventually. Um, I don't know if there's anything else for us to do here. I think we have to clear it out by fighting some battles though. So we're not disguised this time. Supposedly we'll get in some fights, maybe? I don't know. Maybe the fact that we went to the inn and killed everyone cleared it out. I don't know. Let's have a look at what's in here. Um, maybe we'll just knock. Of course not. Knocking never works. <laughs> never knock on the door. Oh, also, Christina, why is your... I forgot to re-equip. Yeah. Gotta make sure you have your proper armor class. So, Alucard, try to pick the door. Failed. Knock again. Just bash it down. Okay. So what's in here? A young woman comes forward. We provide help for those who can reach us. Oh. Well, that's nice. Is it cheaper here? Well, cast it anyway. Still 2000 Seems like the price to be healed is the same no matter where you go. I was wondering if maybe the secret healing would be cheaper. Just want to look around. Hold on. You feel safe here. I bet you you can rest. Yeah, you can rest here as long as you wish. That's good to know. That's cool. Secret Temple of Ill Mitre. Alright, so there's a secret healing spot here if you want to rest up, if you're having a hard time. You spot a group of orcs. Alright, let's uh, advance closer, closer, and attack. 35 orcs! Wow. Did you guys really want to see some combat? Like, serious, serious business combat. Cast sleepy time on the lazy orcs. 
Third, oh, and there's all archers and stuff up here too. Okay, try to get those archers asleep. Well, this is going to take a little bit of time. Alucard, you can also cast some magic. Try to get rid of the uh, leaders specifically. That sleep spell sure works good at this point in the game. And then Earth Darkness. I was really expecting more sweeping abilities. Sure, thanks, Durton. Yeah, this is going to take some time. I think I'll fight most of this off camera, honestly. I mean, I don't expect it to be terribly difficult, but it's going to be time consuming. Good job, fella. Kill those helpless orcs. Alright guys, I'll see you once this is over. In fact, I'll probably fight a couple battles around here and I'll, I'll join back. I'll, I'll, I'll restart the video if we run into anything really scary or new. And welcome back to town, folks. So it took, I believe, ten battles to uh, clear the, uh, the, the area. I think that's what the clue book says and that seems to be how long it took. Every battle had about 30 goblins or 30 orcs. It was really, really easy. It just took a fairly long time to clear it all out. So, oh, and I'm on fast speed again. I have to slow it down. <laughs> just to speed up the battles, I put it on max speed for a bit. So, we did get a reward for clearing the plaza. We get a bit of experience. And a fair bit of money, I'll take it. That's not bad. Share, exit. And group of thieves in Koval. Nomads, kobolds outside. Okay, so still all the same normal um, quests. And let me see, before I forget, in camp, alter speed. It is really nice to put uh, the speed up faster when you're doing a lot of grinding for battles, so I recommend having that. Um, so anyway, we have a level up for Christina, I believe, by the looks of it. And view, it'll be probably a magic user level up. Cool. More stinking clouds. You may not think stinking clouds are all that good right now because we've got sleep, which is doing really well. But once sleep stops working, stinking cloud is much better because stinking cloud will always work. Pretty much always. And train. So I'm only expecting 4 plus 4 divided by 3 at max 3 HP from this. And we'll learn Stinking Cloud, of course. The best of the level 2 magics. I will um, pick some of the red. Actually, you'll know, knock. I should... The next time I get a, a mage level up for level 2, I will pick knock. So that we can unlock magically locked um, doors. And then we don't have to worry about picking or bashing. Because we might... We've run into a door that we couldn't bash open. So that's, that's a good one. Looks like she got 3 HP, so I'm happy with that. I suppose that means we need to go memorize some more spells. To pay again every time, unless I go somewhere else. But I, I got lots of money. So magic, memorize. All we get is our one magic user spell. Pretty easy. And then I have some stuff to identify that I haven't identified yet. So let's, uh, let's do it. So, we still have the Restoration Scrolls, the ones that we have left anyway. Uh, nothing there. Nothing there. Here we go. So what are these potions and do they do anything? Potion of Giant Strength. Cool. Potion of Healing. That sounds good. Cloak of Displacement. That should be like plus one armor class or something like that. Probably end up giving it to the mage. Probably. Nothing there. Oops. And more potions. Extra healing. Good. Nice to have some emergency potions. Good. Three extra healing potions. Cool. I wonder if um if I'm supposed to do anything with this. Can't identify. Can't really sell it. I don't even know what we do with sheets of gold. It's weird. I guess we'll just keep holding on to it for now. So if I take that cloak, 
trade it down to the Mystic of Ba, who currently has our weakest AC. Equip it. That puts him at minus two. So that's actually a really good cloak. The displacement must give us minus two armor class. So that's really nice. Now, you might argue that I should give that cloak to someone else. But uh, I figure Mystic of Ba has the least amount of HP. So if I could keep him around the same AC as the rest of the team, that's actually pretty, pretty valuable. Um, other than that... Did we ever find out... I don't think we checked this scroll. Let's give it to Fella. And have a look here. Two more restorations. We got lots of restorations everywhere. Restorations all over the place. Oops. I keep pressing the wrong button. Oh, of course. There we go. Okay, that was fun. So, what's next? I think probably we're done for this episode. Um, I think I'm going to go to the textile area next because according to my clue book, um, after the plaza, which we did a while ago, the next area is the Car Cadorna textile house. So, uh, I think we'll start next episode off here and uh, we'll do our uh, special quest from the junior councilman. That should be fun. Alright, I will meet you guys there. Thanks for watching, I hope you have enjoyed, and have a great day!